So, you called my company. Told them that I talk about pew pews and I have one in my truck. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You called my company. Calling drivers companies. All because you don't like what they have to say. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So, you called my company. Told them that I talk about pew pews and I have one in my truck. Didn't work out very well for you, did it? <laughs> in fact, they said, thank you for calling. So, uh, yeah there, Mr. Coward. Just didn't work out the way you thought it was going to work out now, did it? Tried to tell you it wouldn't work. You didn't want to believe me. They got a really good laugh. I mean, the whole office was rolling on the floor laughing. They called me and told me about it. They thought I was pretty funny. Didn't work for you, did it? Nice try. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So One thing I learned about social media, you know, ever since its inception, I know that uh, social media could get a lot of people hurt. I've seen a lot of people get killed. I've seen a lot of people got uh, unalived. All because of social media. Right? I talked about social media uh, a couple of times in, in my previous videos. I, I, I talked about social media and trucking and social media in life. In life. I, I feel, and this is just my opinion, so don't 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 come after me. But I feel that people talk too much. People tell too much. People put their business out there too much. People like to be transparent too much it's too much too much foolery too much drama too much cloud chasing too much all because you want to get that instant gratification well that's the same goes in trucking you know, I, I, when I got into trucking, social media was not uh, part of the plan. I want to be honest, because when I started, uh, when I started trucking, I already had YouTube. I was already on Facebook. In my opinion, on Facebook at that time was already like, no. I'm not gonna put all the business out there on Facebook. That's what people was doing before TikTok. It was it was Facebook. It was Facebook. A lot of a lot of drama, a lot of hating, a lot of a lot of people getting bootied on, a lot of a, a lot of back and forth on Facebook. But now, with the inception of uh, Streamyard, with the inception of TikTok. It, it all manifested from from Facebook to now TikTok and StreamYard. In trucking, a lot of people talk too much. <laughs> My opinion, y'all, don't get mad at me. So listen, pay attention, right? So, I learned long time ago to watch what I say, watch what I do, and watch what I post on I mean, on social media, right? Because back then, you know, back in the late uh, 2015 when I started, you know, getting information out there about trucking was was a good thing. And people gravitated 
to those people that was that was telling their journey, their story, their uh, experience. But now it gets to the point that you got people watching, critiquing, just taking every little bit of every little bit that you do, every little bit that you show, and then they want to use that against you. Now, for the guys out here that's like really doing some stupid shit, yeah, yeah, I, I guess so, maybe. But for the people out here that's just, you know, just doing their thing, not bothering nobody, and, and just going on about their business, it seems as though they are being attacked. I know I came across a lot of YouTubers, right? I, I know a lot of YouTubers. I know a lot of them personal. Well, not personal as in meeting face to face, but personally to have, you know, to, to have an ongoing uh, over the phone conversation with them. And in those conversations, I, I, I come to learn that a lot of the stuff that they post online, people, there are people that that feels some kind of way either about them or the content that they put up let me talk to you let me talk to you let me tell you right so i i made a video back in the day watch what you post on youtube was it youtube or i think it was yeah youtube watch what you post watch what you say watch what you do on youtube because there's been there has been a few uh youtube creators that had problems with their companies based on the stuff that they posted online now some companies don't even tell you now listen sometimes you might have to step back a little bit when you talk to these recruiters and you probably might have to put this in your repertoire of questions hey I'm a, you know, I'm big on YouTube or I, I have a big following on YouTube. What is you got? What, what are you guys policies on social media content uh, from, you know, from the company? Because some companies don't, don't want you to either speak upon the company, put the company logo, put the company truck. Hell, some of them don't even want you to make content in their truck. So that's something that you might want to find out about in the future. But let's talk about for the people that feel some kind of way about you, that watches you, that, that critiques your content. The ones that do all of that are the ones that you got to watch out for. And there's been plenty of videos of clapback by the creators that's over here talking about them. Hey, I made a video. You guys try to expose me. Well, my thoughts about that is if you don't say nothing about the company that you drive for or put the logo or any anything any trappings about the company in your video then nobody would know who you or where you work at or who you work for and you won't give them no ammunition for them to call the company and say some ill stuff about you so you got other people that's over here that's doing videos and and happily expose the company that they drive for. Well, hey, I drive for Prime. I drive for Swift. I drive for, you know, I, I drive for this company. I drive for that company. And while at the same time, you just running off at the mouth and just saying things and just saying things and not paying attention to what you're saying. Like, for example, you could just be talking about, uh, about firearms and guns and stuff like that and then you turn around and say well you know i have one Ooh, right there right there now everybody else ain't listening to what you're saying about things 
prior to what you just said, but you just said that you have a gun, concealed weapon on a company truck that some of these people know that companies don't allow. So what they gonna do, they gonna take that little bit of information and then they gonna send that to the proper channels via social media, via calling the company, via email, whatever the case. Long time ago, and I, I, I think this is still relevant today, there's always like there's a sticker that used to be on back of truck trailers. I, I haven't seen them as of late, but I know it's still a, a, around. And it says, how's my driving? And then there's a phone number where people could call a recorded line and express their feelings on how that person is driving. If you're driving erratic, they're going to tell. If you're driving too slow, they're going to tell. If you doing something out of the op, I, I, I mean, out of the out of the ordinary, they're going to tell. And this is before social media. That I, I've seen those phone numbers quite a while. It's not only posted on trucks, but posted on businesses, posted on uh, customer service. How's my service? How's my driving? How's how how was the restaurant? You know what I'm saying? And if people are in their feelings, regardless, if they don't like you, they're gonna try to exaggerate something about you. And it's more so in trucking. Because social media makes it more easier to tag the company that you're driving for and eventually somebody going to see it from that company it may not be this year may not be may not be this month may not be this year but eventually the company is going to come around and it's, they're going to see it so it's always better to 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 not unless you're promoting the company and the company knows that you're promoting it then yeah that's when you say the company's name now if you're getting paid for that then yeah that's when you say the company's name but bruh let me tell you something those referral bonuses ain't shit don't get talked into that Oh, well, you know, if you refer the company, you get about 2000 Okay, well, how is it paid out? Oh, well, you know, it's 500 and then the person got to stay there for six months, seven months, or three days, or 90 days. And then that's when you get paid out. Man, that ain't shit. Because the person that, that comes there, they might not like the company, and then they're going to bounce, and then where that's going to leave you? Shit out of luck. Damn, I was counting on that extra two thousand dollars or that extra uh, fifteen hundred dollars or that extra five hundred dollars. I was counting on all of that. No, no, me. I learned because I I did make a lot of money with 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 Jr. Shrugel by promoting them like I did, and I made a lot of money from it. But what I learned from that is. I, I don't want I, I don't want the referral bonus. If I'm gonna promote the company, I wanna get paid for promoting the company. Driving and promoting the company is two different things. Learn that. Learn that. They're not gonna tell you, they're not gonna teach you. You're gonna have to learn that. What they're gonna tell you on, you know, what the recruiter and when you go to orientation, hey, you can make extra money by by promoting the company. Uh, when somebody come on, you'll get paid a referral bonus. No, learn this. How much are you gonna pay me to promote the company while I'm out there driving? Because the company insignia, logo, and everything else is on the truck. Somebody sees that, 
they see a phone number they call it hey i'm interested in abc company well who told you about it no i just saw your truck out there i was just i saw your truck out there and i was the, the phone number was on the truck and i just went on here and called from the truck oh okay well blah 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 no pay me especially if i have a large social media following you know because that's where people gravitate to people with large social media following they want to they want to tap in to your followers and if you have a large trucking community a large community of of new truckers that's coming into school i mean coming from school that's looking for a company comp trucking companies want to tap into that and if they want to tap into that they should pay you that's my opinion just saying but be careful if you're not on that side of the street then talking about your company putting your company name out there telling the people where you who you who and where you work for that's dead there is ways too many people and i hate the term haters all right i think the word hater is an overused word all right it's just overused all right this like TikTok. those those trends that they doing they 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 doing too much they overuse it, it get played out real quick oh y'all don't know what played out me that's that's the word i'm old school so you know look it up <laughs> google it but um but yeah it's 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 overused oh way way too overused all right i'm just saying just saying but you got a lot of people out here that don't like either don't like you or don't like the company you work for or don't like what you stand for and there has been plenty of youtubers that had became victims of that somebody called my company because of something that i said in a video somebody called my company because of of what i did at a truck stop somebody called my company because of they they didn't like because of the, the I, I i didn't have on my uniform there's ill people out there every day that that's critiquing your content so they can figure out some way to hurt you and they don't even know you they don't even know you Ugh. I don't like what this guy got to say. Who, who's this guy? What he's talking about? He don't know no better. I, I'm going to call this company to see if I can get him fired. You know, I, I was talking about mental aspects in trucking. And I, I, I'm going to keep telling you guys that all of us truckers, including myself, we're not right in the fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Some of these, not, I'd say 80% of these truckers, they background ain't all that nice. Some of these truckers come from, come from a different world. You're going to turn around and, and, and mess around and mess with the wrong trucker. And what he going to do, he's going to take that opportunity, find you because trucking is a small world. They're going to find you. They're going to truck out there to where you at and try to take care of you. Mark my word. It happened. Happened plenty of times. Happened with drivers that's getting effed out of their money with these trucking companies. Happened with drivers that having issues with other drivers over social media. Driver drove all the way to California to put hands on another driver and recorded it for YouTube. These drivers don't have their marbles. You think they do? You, 
You think they do? You think all of us got our marbles just because we show some type of persona? We already we already proved that we're fucking nuts. Your favorite YouTubers already proved that we're fucking nuts. We already proved that. But there are people, and I'm talking about the, about the new people that's coming in because it seems as though as soon as y'all get in the truck, the first thing y'all want to do is make a TikTok about it. As soon as you get with the trucking company, the first thing you want to do is show off the show off the hotel where you at. Once you get with a trucking company, the first thing you want to do is show off your do a truck tour. When you get with a trucking company, the first thing you want to do is talk about the trucking company that you drive for. All of that is not necessary not necessary when you get in the truck you all you want to do is get in the truck and 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 talk about your journey all that is not necessary but there are people out here that don't like you for whatever reason they may not like how you look. They might not like how you talk. They might not like how you stand. They might not like what you stand for. And that's called prejudice. There's a whole bunch of people that are prejudiced out here. Not just race, racist prejudice. And it, it runs rapid in, in, in each race not just the blacks not just the whites not just the chinese not the ethiopians it runs rapid in all races prejudice there's people there's plenty of people that are prejudiced against truck drivers and th and those same people are the ones that's looking to critique your your social media and those are the same ones that like to call your company to say something about it well you know i talked about uh this that and the third and yada 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 oh you uh oh you didn't like it so what you're gonna do is find out where that person work at hey you know he over here talking about this that and the third and yada 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 what you doing bruh what are you doing what are you trying to do what is your goal are are you mad because you couldn't get your uh your cdl are you mad that you got your cdl and something happened to you that you can't drive and you just want to make it you, you just want to make the world hard for the next person what what is your goal what what is what what is it and the same thing with, with us truck drivers on social media man what is what is our goal with one another well i i just want to meet up and click up and and do a whole uh do a whole ensemble well you know ensembles you know groups don't last you know the super groups, you know the hip hop super groups, you know the you you know the R&B super groups don't last because there's always one that seem that that has an ego that thinks he's better than the other per, uh, people in the group and what they do, they break away and start their own super group. Come on now. Come on now. We got we got movies of super groups just being torn apart because of that one, two, three people in the group that feels that they are better than everybody else in the group. And that's what it is with the, and that's what it is with the truck drivers. There's always somebody better that thinks they're better than everybody in the group. And then that group just somehow dissolves 
Temptations, The Whispers, New Edition, The Boys, all of them. David Ruffin. You know what he, you know what David Ruffin said? Yo, ain't nothing without me. I've made your asses. Bobby Brown. What happened to Bobby Brown? Well, what happened is when Bobby, he was really uncomfortable with the style of singing that we had. He wanted to get into something where he could be himself and, uh, and be comfortable at the same time. Who else? Who else? If y'all know any super groups out there, R&B or rap, who was that one person or persons in the group that felt that they was better than everybody else in the group? Let me know in the comments below. It's the same thing that was with these trucking groups out here, these trucking clip uh, clicks. You know, there's always one person that felt they was better, so they broke off and made another group. That person in that group that they made, that they thought they was friends with, kind of felt somebody kind of felt some kind of way. They broke off and made another group. Trust me, I was a part of them. I was in groups that some people felt some kind of way. They broke off and made another group. I call myself trying to be cool with everybody, so I, I joined their group. But by me joining that other person's group, I was considered the bad guy. That's the same thing with YouTube and some of the YouTubers that you come to love. Have you noticed throughout the years, a lot of YouTubers that was cool with a lot of YouTubers, they're not cool with each other to this day. There was a lot of YouTubers that uh, that that a lot of you guys follow and they they was always clicked up. They was always in well before StreamYard. They was always in their videos. They was uh, always on the phone. They always met up. They always collaborated. They always did that, did this, that, and the third. This with everybody. Everybody that met up, they made a video about it. Everybody was cool. They was high, high, key, keying. And then something happened offline and you never see them no more. You never see them or hear, hear of them no more. And then as of late, he's gone. But those are the same drivers that used to say back in the day, oh, that's my girl. I've messed with her. I, you know, I fucks with her every time she go live. I, I'm in her chat session. I give her support and all like that. But where you at though? You haven't been there. You haven't been, you haven't been in there. He's gone. Maybe because they said something that you didn't like, or maybe that that they did something that you didn't like or whatever but that's how that's how groups and cliques are something nine times out of ten always happens let's not talk about let's not talk about the youtuber that frequents everybody's lives right and that said youtuber is like oh i'm i'm cool with everybody I don't I don't have a problem with none of y'all. I'm I'm cool with everybody. So I'm in I'm in this man's live. I'm in this man's live. I'm in this man's live. But that person or that the, or the original person don't is being talked about by the person that you in the live with. So you know some people you know maybe not the maybe not the person not maybe not the youtuber but somebody gonna feel some kind of way bruh sis oh you you over there and they talking about us like you know talking about us or whatever whatever and you over there in their chat session he he hiring it up but then when we come on, you over here with us. Like I said, social media is frugal. <laughs> social media is frugal. And, and, and to me, my opinion, it's not even about, it's not even about the trucking aspect anymore. It's about 
It's about people trying to click up, have a whole uh, Zoom. Well, no, it ain't even Zoom no more. The people don't even do Zoom. <laughs> Zoom is done. So it's all about people clicking up, getting on StreamYard, doing marathon live feeds and stuff like that, which is cool. Which is cool and everything. But, um, but yeah, people, it's, you know, just, just, just be careful. You know, that's my thing. Just be careful what you say, what you move, how you move, or whatever the case. Because th just know that there are people out here that's not feeling to the point that they will call your company. So, you called my company. They'll call, they'll try to call your company. And and try to have and and try to have something done to you. They they'll try to have something done to you. You know. They'll try to have something done to you. Just know that there are people out here that's that that their goal is to is to just sit back relax watch what you're doing try to critique what you're doing so they can find out something about you so they can use it against you just know that just know that drivers that's my thoughts tell me yours in the comments below my radio believe me i like it loud i'm the man with the rocks that can rock the crowd